there's a lot of talk about Fear Factory, your new singer, so I'm just wondering, yes. how is Mike Patton going as the singer of Well, new the new singer, singer is... So, yeah, he's a really good guy. So I've heard of him. He's, he's, yeah. he's unreal, especially yeah. when he sang... And he was really good on that. Yes. So, yeah, I really... Uh, but I'm looking forward... Look, I'm really <laughs> keen... I know there's um, a lot of... You've been worried about, you know, the reaction from the audience and all that sort of stuff. And I know with Pantera... Um, they, their re, recent reunion, and they got a lot of flack from both sides, a lot of supporters, a lot of people against it. I think that's a good lesson. How are you going preparing this guy for what's coming up? Oh, I had a lot of preparation with him because, you know, he's going to have to be able to not only fill some big shoes, which he can vocal-wise, but he's never been inside in that arena. Oh, that, wow. you know, where where you're going to have the media, you're going to have internet trolls coming after you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's one of the main things I'm getting prepared for because some people just can't handle that emotionally, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, uh, if you're like in a small band growing to be a bigger band, yeah, eventually you grow into all the internet hate that you're going to get, but he's going to get it instantly yeah. and it's going to be bombarded on him. But, you know, I understand where some people are coming from because, you know, some people are not always adaptable to change. Right, and you know, Burton C. Bell definitely did have the legendary voice for Fear Factory, right? Absolutely. But you know, things change, people's lives change, and sometimes you just got to move on. And that's exactly what we've both done. Yeah. And so, yeah, we got this new guy coming in, and he's going to be great. We're going to be doing a tour, yep, 2023, and it's going to be Fear Factory, Static X, Dope, Mushroom Head, and it's going to be a great tour. It's going to be 50 shows across the U.S. And so we're going to be introducing the new singer before the tour, and hopefully we're going to be able to have new music out because at the moment we don't have a record company. We're negotiating with other record companies at the moment, so uh, we're going to release a track if we have that record contract signed. Oh, I so, can't wait. yeah, so we're going to uh, we're definitely going to be recording some rehearsals so people can see this this guy singing. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah, because look, I've always been a fan of. Well, all your music, and even the stuff you did with the Roadrunner United, that stuff was insane, you know. And, and again, the 703 bands that you are are a part of or running, yeah. um, when do you reckon um, Fear Factory is going to come down to Australia? Well, it probably won't be till 2024 because okay. 2023 is pretty much booked up. Um, so I'm hoping 2024, right? Um, That'd be awesome. Hopefully one of these festivals or just a headlining gig. Any reason to come here, you know, we'll figure it out. I can't wait to feed your factory, man. It was, it's been a genuine honor. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. And um, um, Always a pleasure coming here and doing uh, the media here for Australia. Oh, uh, man. You know, anything that, that gets the name out there is uh, great. And uh, I hope people who are watching this get something out of this. Whoa,